Government gang stalking has taught me there are degrees of humanness. In a philosophy course when I attended Mount St. Mary College in Newburgh, New York, there was a very petite, highly intelligent nun who taught the course who said there were degrees of humanness. When I first heard that idea, I found it highly repugnant because I had a profoundly mentally handicapped brother and I knew she would put him low on her category. But after nine years of being a government gang stalking target, I agree with her. I do not think of the U.S. government gang stalkers as fully human. Calling them government gang stalking animals is easy for me. I now think of humanness, our evolution from animality, as a matter of degree. The more we are controlled by emotion rather than reason, the less human we are. The more we are controlled by unconsciousness, the less human we are. The less self-control we have, the more automatic, unthinking behaviors, the less human we are. The less introspective we are, the less human we are. There have been people who have wondered how government gang stalking can go on in the 21st century. When you realize technological progress has nothing to do with our degree of humanness, with how governed we are by emotion or unconsciousness or automatic archetypal behavior or our capacity for introspection, you realize primitive animal behavior can go on in a highly advanced technological society. As a matter of fact, the scariest thing of all is a technological society that hasn't developed its capacity for humanness.